think the, the first thing is to understand that we have a large LBG, uh, LGBTI plus community at Marsden. So we're already working with staff and students who belong to that community. So it's about thinking of the different ways that we can support everyone, about educating ourselves. It's about questioning the way that you've done things, having gender neutral terms. Could you say folks instead of ladies and gentlemen, for example? Um, could you ask people's pronouns? Could you change some of the ways that we're thinking about including students? We can be more inclusive by using gender neutral terms within our classroom settings. In my opinion, I believe that there's so much diversity in our school and in our community, and it's really important to cater for everyone's needs. So we need to be inclusive, we need to use gender neutral terms when we're doing lessons, and we just need to get everybody involved. Um, especially with cancel culture and the things that go on online, it's very important to teach students that they need to be able to embrace everyone and be positive um, towards people of all different diversities and in the LGBT QIA plus community especially. Um, because I feel like uh, LGBTIQA plus people uh, need an inclusive and safe space so that they feel accepted and are able to express their true selves. And I think there needs to be a change because as a parent of a rainbow child, I think it's really important that they're accepted for who they are, not what they are. Um, I think the biggest change that we can all make, that we all have the power to make, um, is to be really mindful about our language and using pronouns. So if a person tells you that they want to be identified a certain way, that's the name that you use. Also, being mindful that we're not using derogatory language um, and slurs that can be really hurtful um, and stop someone from feeling supported and safe within the master community. We can be more inclusive by recognising a person's pronouns. They can be she, her for females, he, him for males, and they, them for those that are non-binary or transitioning from male to female. If we can be respectful and use their appropriate pronoun, that will make them feel more safe and supported in our school environment. Alright, so the kinds of changes that I've seen in our Marsden School community since we participated in Wear a Purple Day last year has been a real increase in um, the way that people are really inclusive of our LGBTQI um, plus community. And also I feel that people are more comfortable and feel safer to express themselves and to identify themselves as being a little bit different and being outside the norm. Um, I feel like we're starting to embrace that. And I'm seeing it in the kinds of kids that are coming to me to have conversations. So that's really nice to see. Yeah. Um, we have the purple lanyards, which are pretty much around every single person's neck. Um, and I've seen heaps of like stickers and rainbow stuff going on, heaps of um, staff's bags or students' bags. Or... I've seen the gender neutral toilets being opened for students to have somewhere safe to go. And a sea of rainbow lanyards around the school has allowed the kids to know that they've got safe staff to go and chat to. What change have I seen? I think I've seen a lot more awareness, which is fantastic, and a lot more inclusivity around uh, all that, this sort of stuff. I think a lot of people now have a bit more of an understanding which makes it a lot better for them to sort of include people um, and I think overall as a community we're a lot more supportive as well. And we've seen the amazing development of our LGBT plus cars community which is run by the students, for the students and has also got the support and care of all the staff.